All right, guys. So I've come to the conclusion that we are, in fact, going to finish this game. Okay, we're about halfway through. So this is, in fact, going to be the last and final video, or at least I'm going to strive to make this the last and final video. If you're still wondering what game we're playing, we are, in fact, playing Paradise Lost. I would honestly be lying not only to you guys, but to myself if I said that I was not one bit interested in this story. I'm actually fully invested in this young man, with this, this young boy that we were playing as, who is looking for a mysterious man on a photograph. I want to say, I've come to the conclusion, actually, that I think it's going to be his father. Whether we were made in this bunker with mom and dad or some sort of science experiment, I know that's a little far-fetched, but, you know, Sometimes it's nice to be optimistic. I think that's his father. I could be wrong. And then we also have this, this voice, this woman behind the radio who is guiding us throughout the entire experience or, you know, the search for this man. I don't trust her. We've played Firewatch here before, and it just doesn't end well. There's something about the demeanor behind her voice that I do not trust this woman. But... I guess only time will tell. So thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys watched the first episode and I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's it's been it's been very interesting to say the least. But it is now time. And uh yeah. <laughs> I guess let's go. This is beautiful. Are you there? According to my map, this is the luxurious part of the bunker. I bet it's glamorous. Speak of the Is devil. Even on? Speak of the freaking devil. Oh. Oh my goodness. Can I climb over that? No. So as you know, there's a lot of reading, a lot of, you know, exploring in this game. Is that you? I can hear your footsteps. Shimon? Yes, it is I. Okay, we've got a photograph here. Ooh. Oh, we can probably speak to her through that. Okay, hold on. Hmm, we can probably do something with that bottle. Because we have it equipped now. Now, before I go there, let me... Should I go upstairs first? Well, let's let's see if we can talk to her. Oh wait, what? Are we gonna make Molotovs? What what is going on here? I'm here. Okay, I think there's a working camera in here. It's so dirty I can barely see a thing. I can try cleaning it. Really? That would be great. Find something to help you clean the camera. Oh, okay. There's a bottle of some kind of chemical here. What kind of chemical? I don't know. I don't speak German. Schade. What? It doesn't matter. What does it say on the label? Uh... Don't tell me it's a solvent and you tried to sniff it. And now you're lying on the ground unconscious. Don't worry. I'll be here when you wake up. Wait. If it's really a solvent, he could use it to clean the camera. Just please don't touch it with your hands. Find something to pour it on. Now where is the camera? The thing is, why is she so concerned about me cleaning the camera? It's like she wants to keep... She wants to keep an eye on me at all times. We're not even going to stay here. We're leaving. What does it even matter? It works. Wow. What big eyes you have. <laughs> now you should say, Oh, the better to see you with. Do you know that story? The moral is you shouldn't trust strangers because they'll eat you. 
But I promise not to eat you if that makes you feel better. <laughs> Whoa, this place is a mess. Roll. Wait, what's that at the end of the balcony? I'm sorry, hmm. but... I could have thought that Poles wouldn't keep things as tidy as Germans. That is creepy. I'm telling you, man, she's dangerous. Put his legs up. His kidneys are starting to fail. There is not much we can do for him now. There is. You know that. I'm too tired to have that discussion again. What do you want from them? To pray their problems away? It hasn't helped them so far. Oh, that was horrific. I don't even know what to say. You see, it's like her tone is like she doesn't even care. She's just so monotone about everything. Just, you just can't trust that. <laughs> okay, well, we're done here, so we're gonna get the heck out of here. That is interesting. Hmm. Okay, is that another door back there? Can we open that door? Yes, we can actually. Go ahead and do this side first, and then we'll go to the right side. What do we have here? I mean, listen, the atmosphere is freaking fantastic. I love this freaking atmosphere. Seems to be a train. That be like, where is, is this where they probably designed the trains? Or some sort? Oh, it's Greta. Oh, that's the girl from the from the uh, from the room we were at on the last episode. Okay, hold on. Before I go in that door, let's let's check this other side here. Um, should we? crap okay hold on yeah let's let's go here real quick i do not know what lies beyond that door so we're gonna go to this side yep there's two doors that we can go through let's check door number one so if you're new to the series there's a lot of reading here a lot of exploring and I've been exposed. My, my third grade reading skills have been definitely exposed, especially with a lot of the words that I do not know how to pronounce. <laughs> okay, well, this was kind of pointless. There's nothing here. Okay, let's go to the other room. scared me hmm. okay let's check back here nothing here perfect as long as you do not move we're okay okay just don't move this is not meant to be a horror game yet it's still kind of creepy i was playing this game yesterday it was like one o'clock in the morning almost two and it was pretty freaking creepy there was nothing scary it was just like you know the wood cracks and certain little music here and there i don't know i'm easily creeped out what can i say so to the settlement office i'm looking at the di uh, diet dietary dietary recommendations for the bio components created by the settlement officer miss uh Siegland hubber i found this part particularly amusing Brain development is highly dependent on essential unsaturated fatty acids. A natural source of uh, UFA or EUFA is fish, seafood or seaweed such as algae. Al al algae. Al God, I am such an idiot. Does Miss Seajolt Hubbard realize that her recommendations are laughable? If not, could you please give her that message? I think that's how you say that word. Algae? Who gives a shit? Uh, okay. Wait, so should we go back to the other place that we never went to? 
I think we should. Remember the other door that we kind of went back? I didn't, I didn't think we were going to make it to this side. Hmm. Just so you guys understand, this is where the guy was, or where they were, you know, painting that train over there. And this is the door that we kind of left out. Headed up to the catwalk. Interesting. Okay, we've got a note here. Weekly report March 18th of 1966, Monday. 46 went, 43 came back. Negative three people. On Tuesday, 43 one, 42 came back, negative one. On Wednesday, negative six people. Thursday, negative 12 people. Friday, negative five. If this continues, then I guess we're fucked. Order number 262, no devotional or ritualistic objects are permitted in the shelter. You can anonymously surrender any uh, any such objects in this room. If you're found with any of your, in your possession, you will be charged treason. Jesus Christ. Wait, is there anything in here? Negative, Ghost Rider. Also, this is the uh, other door that we weren't able to open once we got to the other side. Ah, okay. Okay, so we've covered uh, we've covered all of our bases, I guess. That's good. We are good to move forward. Is that door open over there? No. Something pretty drastic happened here. The fact that this is actually inside some sort of bunker, like this whole civilization this is fucking crazy i mean if you remember we, we it's not like we've left the bunker we've only gone deeper and deeper and deeper into the bunker so all of this is actually underground Dear all, when they cheated us during the food distribution, they should have been the last straw. That should have been the last straw. I was naive to think they could still be reasoned with. I do not think anyone has any more doubts. We strike at noon. Remember, these people no longer resemble the people we once knew. He's brainwashed them. Don't pity them. They wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't afford you to the same kindness. Eva? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So you have the same name as that thing. Could you please not compare me to a lifeless machine? Besides, Eva is spelled E W A, not E V E. I thought we agreed to trust each other. I guess I still don't. Well, I can't really blame you. 
After all, everything we learn about this place is about people stabbing each other in the back. So here's what I suggest. Each of us says something about themselves. Something personal. I'll start. I was born in Karakov, but I spent most of my life living in a small village in the mountains. My dad is sort of a pastor. I was always really impressed by how he managed to inspire his people. But I never got to meet my mom. Your turn. Remember something personal. My mom passed away recently. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And now you're looking for the man in the picture. Did he know your mom? I think so. I understand now. Thank you for telling me that. It couldn't have been easy. I should keep going. All right. Thanks for the chat, Shimon. Talk to you later. So one of the options there that was interesting was to tell her that we think the man in the picture is our father. Which is kind of what we were hinting towards. Fucking hell. Would that have been any louder? Be able to use this for the uh, for the uh, fuse down below for that thing, that elevator, if you will. What do we have here? Oh, it's for this actually. <laughs> something about her maybe she's scared we might find find out something about her you know you gotta you gotta play it at this rate we should be able to leave the bunker in a couple of months that is if we choose huh answer it Lucian, we need to talk. Well, this certainly is a surprise. To what do I owe the pleasure, Dominica? I want to negotiate. Now, as I've already told you, the situation is simple. We split the food three ways. You get a third, we get a third, and the rest will be given as an offering to the gods. If it weren't for their guidance, we wouldn't have found the food to begin with. We must pay our respects. Fine. Fine? We'll split the food three ways, but on one condition. You take down those turrets. I'll take them down. Eventually. If you keep your end of the bargain for the next two months, then I'll agree to remove them. Think of it as a grace period. If you want production to continue, then you need to take them down. Now! The thing is, Dominica, I need you less. 
than you might think. Come back when you've come to your senses. Wait. Let's not make any hasty decisions. I'm sure we can come to an understanding, Lucian. What's happening? Deactivated. She wow. tricked us. I don't know what you're... You'll find out soon enough. But I can promise this won't end well for you. Find her! Get those turrets back online quickly. Show me the map. They're already on their way. They mustn't get across the bridge, do you understand? Hold them back! Oh! It's not working! We have to blow it out. We have to blow up the bridge, do you understand? There is no other way. If we don't, all of this will have been for nothing. The turrets are back online. Authorize the use of lethal force. Make sure no one's on the bridge when it explodes. Fourteen civilians alarm of fire not authorized. What have you done? You still don't understand how any of this works, do you? I didn't want this. I didn't want any of this. You made me do this. What? No. There were civilians. I, I. He said make sure there's nobody Whoa Wait, that's a railroad What is that doing there in the middle of Okay, so we've actually come across Okay, we're on the other side This is the bridge. Oh, this is the bridge where the turrets were. Why are these turrets moving? That is so creepy. have some sort of heat sensor or this chick is actually operating them and she's not telling us about it 
I don't know, man. There's so many things to take in in this game. It's kind of like, what the hell is happening here? Okay. Go up this little st stairs. bones wait maybe they had uh cattles here those are bones down there okay something died there that's blood or coffee probably blood yeah smeared all over the walls there's a camera right there is that a camera Okay, it's a transcription of an automatic recording triggered by detection of the keyword goats via the intercom, intercom system. Zofia, that goat, there was something odd about it. What do you mean odd? Uh, it had horns, a tail, a goat like any other. But see what it did. Goat things stood around. Exactly. Stood in the grass. And, and it didn't even take a bite. Maybe it wasn't hungry. Um, have you ever seen a goat that wasn't hungry? That's like a calf with two heads. Don't you remember how in the 43, in 43, um, goat ate all of your grass in the yard, then ate your belt too, and you had to truss your trousers up with twine. Don't act like you don't know what goats, uh, that goats never stop eating. I'm telling you, something with that goat ain't right. Well, it's a miracle goat. Maybe miracle goats are more particular about what they eat. You old fool. You'd believe anything. Some petty, as a pretty young woman filled, uh, lifted her skirt for you. You think it was a true, it was true love, and not the six pound of dried meat in the larder. Maybe it's an experimental goat. Got the door open. Let's speak to this chick. Can you see this? No. What are you? It looks like a food processing factory. I can't. Eva. Eva. Oh fuck. Okay, this is getting really, really creepy. There's still light down here. How is this? What is going on? All right, let's speak to her. What if she's really just a machine, dude? Eva, 
Can you hear me? I thought I was going to die. I need to tell you something. You saved my life, and not just now. When my mom passed away, I didn't think I could carry on. Shut up, dude. Don't trust her. There was no one, nothing left for me to live for. I tried looking for Lucian because I needed someone to be there for me. That someone was you, not him. I have a goal now. I'm going to find you. Oh my god, why are you trusting this woman? Stenographic rec request letter. According to the settlement office, we are to be supplied with 200 tons of spelt no, uh, no later than March 1st of 1960. No such delivery has been made thus far. This is an urgent matter. I expect a prompt response. The response. Your request has been noted. The delay is due to the unfathomable, unfathomable stupidity of Polish bandits. They wanted to blow up the SS outpost, but their explosives uh, exploded prematurely, destroying a nearby storage facility. I was holding spelt meant for... So and so, we supply you with uh, we will supply you with spelt as as soon as possible. Does it matter what door we open? down here they had it all really they really had it all they had food water housing lights i mean you know electricity fucking hell okay so Who's paying the electricity bill down here? I'm a dream. People have gone completely fucking nuts with this whole faith of the ancestors thing. They wanted to make sacrifices. We do not have enough food to just be tossing it away. So the gods may feast. I need to think of something that will satisfy the gods but keep the offering in uh, intact. There has to be a fire. Otherwise, they won't buy it. And when I throw something on it, the flame should spurt up. Maybe some kind of LED thing. I think I saw some lights somewhere. Just have to keep uh, adults away from the sacrificial fire or they'll catch on. The hollow tree should be a good spot for making sacrifices. There needs to be a hole behind the fire with a uh, photovoltaic cell hooked, hooked up to a, to a circuit. So it sends an impulse that increases the flame underneath. Uh, there can be a container the sacrifices which will go right back to the storehouse damn if i had known i'd end up being forced to uh meddle with the electronics i never have decided to become a priest so were these people kind of like eventually running out of food and stuff it looks like huh see because everything's nice and pretty at first but then when problems arise things turn for the worse that's just with anything in life you know Sorry, but this is not safe. Okay, good. <laughs> Depression. These are all the steps of grief. Level four. This is where the labs are supposed to be. I knew you'd make it. Eva? Yes, I'm here if you need me. See, she lied, dude. She said we were so close, and look how far we've gone, and she's still not even here.
just a freaking liar. I don't see a microphone. How are you hearing me? I don't know. Attention, Chief Commander of the Military Colony's top secret of the civilian commandant. Uh, demonstrates inc incompetence and dangers com uh, the completion of EVE of the EVE project. Leads the colony into disarray or displaces its continued existence in danger. Fails to meet the production quotas for, th uh, for three consecutive months. Exhibits signs of incapacity, mental or physical illness, rendering him incapable of performing his duties. He must be eliminated and replaced uh, chosen. And a replacement chosen. Ooh, that looks creepy. Hey, I can see the top of your head in one of the cameras. Oh, we've got a key here. Is that a key? How are you talking through this? What do you mean? It looks like a... What the? camera. That's so cool. Now I'll be able to see everything you see. Can you open the gate for me? Yeah, I can, but I need its serial number. Try looking for an electrical panel connected to it. Bro, why are you giving her access to everything? You are dumb. The should be connected to the door. You are so dumb. Hold still. I have to type it in. Okay, got it. It should be open now. We are unstoppable. Bro, she's so fucking creepy. The elevator stuck. I think it's the same one that you took before. <laughs> if it hadn't broken down, I might never have found you. Bro. <laughs> By the way, I heard everything you said down there in that photo processing place. Oh. I just wanted to tell you that I understand. I know what it's like to be left alone. Things stop making sense and you think everything's hopeless, but you have to keep going. Especially now, when we are so close. The control room is somewhere on this level. God, what up? I'm pretty sure that's not the way. I don't know who the level designer is, but man, holy cow. Just such such a great job. Are those the laps? It looks more like a prison to me. So this is where they kept the criminals. I don't seem to have any control over this place. Its core architecture is much, much older than anything else around here. It's not even connected to the mainframe. You know a lot about this stuff. Well, I have a lot of time on my hands just sitting here. I'm telling you, man, she's suspicious as fuck. How do we open up these doors? Oh, maybe through the main control room. Okay. What do we have here? They needed our mission to go downstairs. They were issued a one-use punch card for good behavior. So, if we want to go downstairs, we'll have to find an unused punch card. Try opening up the cells. Wow. Alright, that's the lever right there. Oops. Oh, I've got another note here. Dear professor, a specialist in the what field does of. This mean? The prisoners who are kept here were all fertile women. 
Why? I don't know. Oh, fuck, dude. We were made here. For sure. As a specialist in the field of dentistry, I would like to turn you to the attention of the teeth related aspects of your program. Research has shown over 90% of Polish women suffer from tooth decay and other dental diseases negatively affecting their reproductive capacity. Dental diseases delay the onset of pregnancy and are significant factors in miscarriages and low birth weight. Oral hygiene must be um, meticulously, meticulously, meticulously maintained during pregnancy. Bile spat up during morning sickness destroys animal, enamel, enamel. Nah, that's yeah. <laughs> Women must rinse their mouth with water after each explosion. I suggest each woman admitted to the program undergoes full dental treatments before being sent to the farm. Once there, they must be supplied with oral hygiene supplies and supervised in their use. Fucking hell. Is that a real statistic? Let's go to the punch card and get out of here. No. I think we should pay respect to the stories of these women. I don't want their sacrifice to be forgotten. Okay. I heard a little noise, kind of freaking out here. So all the doors are open now. And this is... Fuck me. Like, no privacy whatsoever. This one's punched in. Look, this one hasn't been used at all. Oh, never mind. We leave now. The women here were only allowed to go downstairs a couple of times. And this woman never even used her pass. Day three, it is my third day here, and I still... How bad is the world outside that the prison seems like a better option? And I still marvel at the conditions in this place. Everything is clean to the point of sterility. Sterility. Uh, the Germans treat us with a measure of po politeness, and the food is fantastic. I have never eaten such frequent, delicious, filling meals. Plus, they see we get enough physical activity and maintain proper hygiene. They even make sure we brush our teeth after every meal. Before I was brought here... They subjected me to the uh, to every medical examination imaginable. It would be like uh, it, it would be all it would all be like a wonderful vacation, except I still do not know where I am, nor why I am here, and I and I have no one to talk to about it all. I share my room with Stefa. As soon as uh, we enter, she uh, she begins crying into her pillow. I try to speak to her uh, to the other girls in the cafeteria, but the only point they only point to the walls with an with an uneasy look in their eyes. Is someone eavesdropping? It seems I will have to survive a, a while longer without conversation. At least I will have you. Dear diary. Again, you you get here first and you think it's all rainbows and butterflies until it's not. Another card here. This one's probably been punk. Yeah. This one is just up. This is so wild, dude. I'm telling you, we were born here. There's no freaking way. That's a lot of crossword puzzles. Okay. A four letter word for heaven it's not. Help. That's it. Damn, even the crossword puzzles here are depressing. Oh. I gotta put here. <laughs> that would imply that we are in hell. Those paintings. What about them? My mom used to draw something like that. It's probably just a coincidence. Yo, was this his mom's room? It's 
Suava? That's my mom's name. She was one of the prisoners. Why did she never mention it to me? Would you want to talk about this place? Dear Suava, I am forever grateful for what you did for me. He looks exactly how I remembered him. I was terrified when I realized that I was starting to forget him. But now, thanks to you, I don't have to worry anymore. He'll be always with me. I'm writing this to you because I know you don't like to talk about it. But I hope one day you also forget. Uh, you get the experience. You get to experience what it means to be a mother. Those brief moments that we share with our children make all the suffering we go through worthwhile. I am praying to any God that is listening that they bless you with a child. The plot thickens. Holy hell. Here's another one. That one's used up. It looks like it's all used up. Guys. Man, oh man. Holy cow. I knew it, bro. This guy's closer to this bunker than we over. thought. Wait, that tree? It looks familiar. Are we going down? Yes. Fucking. Oh my god. These people were freaking sick. No way. Look at all those freaking incubators. Instructions concerning the selection of children in the Quo program. Children involved in the program must pass a uh, rigorous selection process. As a first step, children with uh, Ryan traits should be identified. They will be passed to real German families or, once the program is underway, the colonists. The remaining children should, by uh, the time they are five years old at the least, be split into three groups. A. Those with above average intelligence as measured on the disc, um, subject to programming. B, those with normal intelligence prepared for field laboratory or, or factory work. And C, those in any matter retarded placed in the T4 program. Note, point C does not apply to autistic children. They are difficult to manage. I wish to inform you, uh, this is to the so-and-so, <laughs> the acting civilian commandant of Jessel Shaft Shelter. I wish to inform you that uh, Eureka Haas, one of our four educators, has grown louder in expressing her uh, discontent with the conditions at our school. She feels that cozy, env that cozy environs, exquisite food, learning through play, frequent physical activity, ample leisure time, and state-of-the-art medical care should not be wasted on Slavic swine. She complains that her own children, uh, who can trace their heritage back at least seven generations, live much more modestly and uh, without such extensive pedagogical aids. Furthermore, their education is frequently interrupted by the deeds or by the needs to, uh, to take shelter from the enemy bombing raids.
Mm. There's a kids right there. What? Bro, this is fucking crazy. Oh my god. I was expecting something weird like this, but this is just out of out of fucking. for me like you did before are you sure you want me to do that now in this place it can be anything yes i do okay then oh my god what is this they they were inseminating women here. It's horrible. I knew coming in here was a bad idea. Bro. There's nothing else there, right? It's like the deeper we go, the worse it gets. Classrooms. A classroom. Dear sir, I wish to call to your attention a matter which I believe it's of utmost importance to the program you oversee. Cutting edge research by Helga indicates teaching children to play musical instruments has a very positive effect on their intelligence, particularly their linguistic ability and spatial perception. This research findings mythology, methodology can be found in Helga. Uh, Helga's fascinating doctoral dis dissertation written by the young woman under the tutelage of my husband and soon to be defended. Uh, thus, out of my concern for the proper mental development of a younger colonist, I asked that a grand piano be included in the colony supplies, for which such instrument provides the best way to practice one's scale and thus enter the broader musical world. My husband is a fervent opponent of this idea. a merry-go-round like that near my house. My mom never let me play on it. If you want, we can come back here later. No, that, that's okay. Well, she didn't let you pull. Now we know why her... It's never easy, is it? We'll have to find a way around. Now we know why his mom never wanted to speak about that guy in the picture or just in general of any any, any of these things or why she resented, for, for, for instance, the merry-go-round. I mean, it's all just a traumatic past. And obviously, he, he probably doesn't remember any of this. I mean, this, this kid is only a teenager at most. What is this place? Eva? I... I grew up here. Didn't you say that you grew up in the village in the mountains? I did. And you thought this was it? Shuma, this isn't funny. What is going on here? I don't know. This is the place. It is. Well, at least I think it is. 
I don't know what to believe anymore. Holy crap. Oh, mighty Veles. Old Mrs. Piasnik begrudged to you a sacrifice. I heard her say it. Told her husband he was a fool to give you meat. Why not old bread if we got to give something else, she said. Anyways, she only gives anything so people don't call her cheap. So please, mighty Velez, punish her like she deserves. And reward me, your faithful servant, always looking after you with health, good fortune. And that ring with the red gem, Mrs. Piasnik got off the German woman and surely does not deserve. This place looks really nice. You don't have to humor me. The bathroom's there. But what is this crap? Seems like that's the dining table here. This is where we feasted. And what's here? Yes. This is where we used to gather. My yes. father performed rituals at that altar. They were preparing a ritual for a successful journey. So they left without you? It looks like they didn't finish the ceremony. It's missing some offerings. Without them, the journey won't be successful. So... Do you want me to finish the ceremony? Hmm. You know what? Yes, I do. What do we need? Two things. An animal offering and a sacred item. What should we start with? Let's start with... A sacred item. But what makes an item sacred? It's an item that's been blessed by the pastor. Your father. Exactly. I know just where to find one. Go to the living quarters. You'll find it there. What am I looking for? My hairpin. Your hairpin is a sacred item? It was carved from a holy tree. Living quarters. Are you sure this will work? Don't worry, it's just about symbolism. Let's look for that sacred item. Go to the bedrooms, you'll find it there. Why were there so many toys there? All the children grew up, and because of the radiation, no new ones were born. The youngest was Andek. When he turned 12, he became an adult. They what? shaved his head and put all... What does the herb look like? My uh. father carved it in the shape of a bison. At least that's what he said it was. This is where I last saw it. Damn, I didn't mean to cut her off. Fuck. Well, we probably have one of the... Uh, one of the objects already. I can't find it. I guess we'll have to find something else instead. How about the ring on the draw? Yes, that could work. You just have to bless it, but that's not going to be difficult. It looks like we have everything. We can go back to the altar now. Uh, I wonder what happened to that hairpin. Maybe they took it. No, they knew how important it was to me. I'm sure it will turn up somewhere. E.K.? Those are my initials. Did you do that? No, Antek carved it for me. He got such a talking to after. What does the K stand for? Mm, I don't remember. Alright. If you say so, Mrs. I don't remember. 
is this? Another letter? Great Velas, grant me the gift of motherhood. Let's uh let me savor the sight of my own child as he learns to walk and talk, as he grows and supports me and my husband in old age. Try treating myself with uh primors primorse oil, flaxseed oil, and chest wood extract. An herbalist friend, uh, an herbalist friend gave me a mixture of the lady's mantle, yarrow, rue leaves, yellow melilot, lavender, calamus roots, so and so, so and so. Uh, hops and rose hip, nothing helped. Uh, the years go by, and I fear my womb will soon be barren. I vow, if I am granted offspring, I will raise them to revere and worship you to the end of their days. You are my last hope. Jesus. Put the offerings in the bowls. Now bless the items and the ritual will be complete. How do I do that? Just say a few words. Something profound. The gods like that. How about... No matter how dark the night, a new day sun will rise. Yeah, that works. I think we did it. Their journey should be successful now. Hmm. Wherever they went. Thank you for doing this for me. Since you grew up here, and the people from that recording moved here, did you recognize any of them? Like Lucian? That scientist? I don't remember anyone like that. At least I don't think I do. Okay, so that's cute and all, but where 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 do we go now? Because I want to get the hell out of here. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm glad that we finished the ritual. Their journey should be safe now, and maybe ours will be too. What the fuck? <laughs> What is this, bro? This game has gone from like going inside a Nazi bunker to just. And what's here? Something isn't right about this place. What do you mean? I just don't remember being here. Tree. The tree. It's the same as the one in your mom's drawings. That's Lucian, the man you're looking for. And there's the Monica. They look like they were friends. She changed. She definitely got older. Oh, that is one cute baby. That's him, dude. That's him. Sarah, your photo fits the empty space. But that doesn't make any sense. It would mean that the baby is you. this with you who is he trying to save when the time comes it is the gods who will judge my actions i will stand before them i will look them in the eyes and i will not blink because i know that one cannot have a higher purpose than devoting their whole life to saving their loved ones
Yes, much better. Bracia i siostry. Recently, there have been many events that have left us at a loss for words. Things that lack any rational explanation. Recoveries from illness that seemed impossible. The appearance of farm animals that were thought to be extinct. I have long believed that someone has been watching over us. Still, I was afraid to share my thoughts. Uh, that is, until now. Lucian! Fate has brought us here to the land of Veles, the Slavic god of water and the underworld. Lucian, obiad. Give me a moment, please. You know, I get nervous before these things. I'm sorry, just hurry up, it's getting cold. Brothers and sisters, we do not know when we shall leave this bunker, but we must fend for ourselves. And it warms my heart to see the spirit of camaraderie amongst us each and every day. Yet events have transpired that are hard to explain rationally. Lawrence uh, found a new tonic when his old one could no longer be patched up. So-and-so found a new hoe after her old one broke. And so-and-so returned to health. Though we never knew what afflicted him or how to cure it, the list goes on. I have the, I have the feeling that someone is watching over us, and recently he has given us a sign. Fate's tangled, pa uh, tangled path has brought us to the kingdoms of Velez, the Slavic god of the waters of the underworld, yet also of song and poetry. I feel it is he who is behind all of these marvels. He is giving us signs so that we will believe. Let us erect an altar and statue the wor uh, to worship him, so that we may win his favor and his aid. Isn't that what we have, the camera? I remember. Where did they all go? They must have left just before you got here. I don't think you're telling the truth. <sighs> so, you grew up here, underground. Do you remember the world outside? Sure I do. Before the bombs hit, I had a normal life on the surface. Before the bombs hit? Wasn't that like 20 years ago? That doesn't make any sense. Bro. Oh my god. I'm telling you, dude, there's something about this chick. Also notice how she didn't even reply back. She's 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 at the point where she doesn't even she, she doesn't even believe herself anymore. We've got to be close to the control room, anyways. So we'll see what she has to say then. We're really gonna jump. Right path? I don't know. Oh, fuck. 
good. I don't want to be here anymore. This can't be much further. She's lying to you, man. I Turn you back. I don't know how. <laughs> you need to get the hell out of here, bro. as I was she's not as bad as I thought but then again we don't know because she was she still lied to us she still freaking lied to us and she knew so much more than she let on oh fuck that she's an asshole oh, oh that was scary Had to be a jump scare, did it there? Fuck, that was bad. <gasps> Fuck. I think we're gonna die down here. We're probably gonna die here. go in there that's the elevator <laughs> this is the elevator we were in is it not it is It's not the same elevator, it's the same type, but not the same exact one. and collective let's let's not fuck this up now let's just chill no freaky accidents okay
my god. I have the pin, so we'll be together. I made sure of that, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm forgetting something. Stop. The faithful need not be afraid. The faithful are protected. It's cause and effect. Cause. Remember to monitor their heart rates. There's no need for anything drastic. Systems malfunction, warning. Oh shit, cardiac arrest, multiple deaths upstairs. Isolation. I don't I wouldn't want to execute you. I know more. The wrath of the gods upon themselves. Do you understand? They are to blame. But we are still together. Everyone who matters is alright. What happened to her? So what? Damn, I can't even take that camera back. This is so fucking strange. Ooh. Oh, 
What the fuck? What was that? Why am I floating? <laughs> Why am I floating in the air? <laughs> oh my god, that was a bug. Alright, so do we go upstairs? No, we're going down. What is happening? Why am I... Oh, come on. Don't give me this glitch bullshit now. <laughs> That's the backup generator. It is now turned off. We're about to find out where the hell this girl really is. And what the hell really happened here. I don't like this freaking glitch, bro. This is irritating. I'm like flying in midair. It's every time I go on a stair, you know, like a, a little drop. My guy stays. Oh, shit. Hold on. Can I go inside these? Science log, Lucien Blenda. Uh, Dr. So-and-so, Rudolph So-and-so, noted in his findings that the bio components hippocampus suffered uh, the most stress during excessive use of the system. What he failed to notice was that there are numerous ways to uh, counter the stress through non-invasive methods. Precautions such as limiting the number of operations the bio component can work on simultaneously or applying a shift work system most day-to-day -day operations can generally decrease the stress of the bio component is subject is uh the, the bio component is subjected to we have already exceeded the longevity of the most uh, durable bio components by a factor of 10. this is even more impressive considering we are only operating with a single host unfortunately there is no denying there is a substantial deterioration uh of the bio components memory delusions are also becoming increasingly frequent for this reason and this reason alone, I have decided to conduct a physical procedure injecting bio component with a modified version of a drug cocktail the Nazis formulated to create an Uber soldier. Okay. What does that mean? Super soldier? Um, it is, I must say, rather worrying since no such experiments have previously been carried out, but the situation is dire. This is where you spend all of your time. I mean, you come? I came to talk. Not right now. I know we haven't seen eye to eye for a very long time. But I wanted to put our differences aside and come here to extend my condolences. Thank you. But I have to get back to work. That's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. People at the processing plant are worried. No one's seen you since the funeral. I've been busy. As I said, I need to get back to work. I understand that's how you operate, but this obsession... It's not healthy. Wait. The plant isn't overloading the system, is it? No. Everything's working fine. People are calling it a miracle. Good. Good. I can't imagine what it's like to lose a child. I don't have time for it. Time for what? Grieving the death of your daughter? You don't understand. I can still do something. She's gone, Lucia. You can't bring her back. There's not going to be a second miracle. Wow. Just wait and see. So... He faked her death? Let's check out these other areas real quick. I'm sorry I haven't been very talkative, but I feel like this is just that type of game where you 
just gotta kind of just let things play out and not talk too much. Let the story speak for itself. Primary research indicates that there are rapid consumptions of the bio components. Is it to stress caused by cons uh, constant stimulation from electrical impulses combined with the enormous amounts of information being processed? Excessive stress uh, promotes hypothala hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis activity, in turn causing the exer uh, excretion of, amongst other, cortisol, thereby damaging the uh, hippocampus. No further factual data is available at this time. I'm, I'm going to be honest, bro. Half of this crap... These terminologies, man, <laughs> this is a little, a little advanced. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday, dear Eva. Happy birthday to you. I've got a present for you. This is your little brother. You'll never be alone again. We just have to give him some time before he's big enough to join you. What do you mean you don't want him to? Who are you talking to? I'm just talking to our sweet little boy. I can't get enough of him. She wanted me to join her. Okay. Nah, fuck. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck that. to read here. Jesus. We're probably gonna need this. No? Is that to measure the skulls? I think we're gonna die down here. I just don't I don't think we're gonna escape this I think I think like she said it was a mistake us coming here we're, we're gonna die here I know I can fix this the only thing we can do now is pray stop if this is what the gods want for us then we should accept it I said stop there's something we can do. I just need more time. Lucian, we have to accept things the way they are. This place you're in, it isn't healthy. You have to move on. Why would you even want to bring your child into this world? Because... We need to. Does that mean... He made me? I... Fucking... Knew it! I called it! There goes my optimism, okay? <laughs> Being optimistic sometimes, <laughs> holy shit. That's probably why we have all these measurements and calculations. Who the?
God, bro, it must suck to be us right now. Jesus. Well, the moment of truth has arrived. Here we go. Do we go in there? Yes. What the fuck? Acceptance. is it this is where we accept it <laughs> and realize that uh we're fucked and our life has been nothing but a lie and of course this is not the way this game has taken a crazy turn of events then I have a I have a had a text, sorry. Dude, this is insane. It is time. It was fate that brought us to this place, and it is fate that now leads us away. We leave tomorrow in search of another place that we can call home. We mistook uh, this place for paradise we know now that it was never meant to be our paradise but it could be yours i know you will come here if not in a year then perhaps in five if not in five then in ten but you will come here you cannot avoid it it may seem cruel but the gods have a plan for us all you can try and run from your destiny but it will catch up to you in the end you will come here and you will have a chance to make everything right you know what needs to be done. Shh. The technology that is in this facility is far beyond what we were expecting. That's why I, I mentioned that I was being optimistic and it was very far-fetched. It was almost impossible for there to be such technology, but... something to you? No. The light is hurting my eyes today. Open the drawer for me, would you? <sighs> I got upset when you found that I shouldn't have. <sighs> it's okay, Mom. I hope he forgives me. Hope who forgives you? What he sees. What a smart, brave young man you turned out to be. Mom, what are you talking about? Forgive you for what? Forgive me for taking you away from him. Mom, I don't understand. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> Mom, it's not your fault. You did what you had to. Oh, the 
moment of truth is right upon us. I wonder if we're ever going to speak to Eva again. Tell me that's Eva. Don't fucking tell me that's her. And we belong there. Holy. Okay, okay, whoa. Yeah, that was weird. This isn't how you imagined you'd find me. Everything came back to me when you found that grave. Like a flood. To think I was keeping the truth from myself for all that time. It's amazing what the human mind is capable of. Eva, you're alive. I am. That's... That's good. Mm, at this point... I don't really know, Shimon. What I do know is that I was really upset when I told you to leave. Now I'm glad you didn't listen. There are so many things I want to... I'm tired, Shimon. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I think I'd like to go. What do you mean? I want you to unplug me. Eva... Why? Shimon, I don't even understand what I am anymore. You're my sister. I always wanted to have a sibling. I'm glad I can call you brother. Thank you for saying that. You know, I tried to forgive him for... <sighs> for leaving me here, but I can't. Do you think that makes me a bad person? Tell me, what kind of father condemns his own daughter to oblivion? I'm not sure what to say. Luton wanted to sacrifice my life to save you. That's how much he loved you. So I'm glad sad, he didn't. Though. I'd rather have a brother in the end. Luton made me. In a lab. It's... How do I predict reason. these things? Maybe it was always about us meeting here. Shimon, that's really a lot to take in. I don't know what to do with it. How do you imagine my life here will look, huh? You think I'll be able to go outside, see the sunshine? What happens if there's a power outage and I'm all alone? Or if someone comes and tries to take this place and use it? You think I'll be strong enough to defend myself? You're stronger than you think. Eva, tell me, what will happen to you if I agree? Well, that depends on what you believe happens when someone dies. What do you think? You will meet all the people who died before you. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? I think you're ready. Ready for what? To make the decision. I want you to know that I'll accept your decision no matter what it is. A 
I can't do that to you. I guess it's too much to ask of you. But I want you to know that I respect your decision. It's a relief to know my fate is settled. But that leaves us with you. What are you going to do? Hmm. I want to leave this place. I want to leave this place. What do you think? You should go. You belong out there. I'll stay here and do my best to try to make something good out of this place. So, what's your final decision, Shimon? Fucking hell, I don't know. I don't want to stay here. I'm sorry. I, I really don't. I will go. Take care out there. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll be waiting, just so you know. I've heard the ending is the same, though. I just I wonder if what happens if we unplugged her. Listen, like she's my sister and all, but I I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't want to stay there, dude. It's Maybe I should have stayed with her. Maybe I shouldn't have unplugged her like we did and then stayed with her or unplugged her and left. I just can't, I can't kill her like that. I don't know, dude. It's just so many like thoughts and emotions running at the same time, make irrational decisions. Fuck. I knew it. we were just an experiment to save her. She didn't want to be saved, but I don't want to kill her. <laughs> but I also didn't want to stay. I can't even go back and choose other options. Oh, what a bummer. Oh, that is so anticlimactic. Okay, so I thought she was actually going to screw us over. So at least that didn't happen. That was a little bit of relief. So she was our sister all along and she's pretty much been seduced for God knows how many years. We were just a, literally an experiment by her father, our father, to to save his daughter's life, which I totally get. So therefore, that's why I didn't want to unplug her because I don't know. But then it's like she's just gonna stay there, and if we stayed there, what the heck were we gonna do? I don't. Guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions. So what is your overall? overview of what just occurred the fact that we were an experiment again is just just a thought that i threw out there at the beginning of this episode and it happened to be just that it's absolutely crazy to me but um it was a cool experience i i wish there would have been a little bit more stuff towards the end i wish i would have been able to go back that's why i chose the options i was thinking i could reload and choose other options but i can't anyways there it is guys that is paradise lost a really trippy story very deep and fucked up story in a way jesus i was like a brain fuck anyways we're gonna end it here thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed that and for you know whatever that's worth sheesh okay 
I will be looking forward to reading your comments in the comments below. And yeah. Catch you guys later.